last slice of pizza. Yeah. I think we know who should get this. Not so fast, Snatch McGrabbit Snatch. Guys, how are we gonna settle this? I have an idea. I'll be right back. Aha! Uh, 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 uh. Aha! That last slice of pizza is mine. How do you get a shrink ray? And where are we? Looks like we're on the moon. Yeah, sure we are. They're gonna try to go up to the moon, you know. Haven't you ever heard about the X Prize? Yeah, the Lunar X Prize. Teams compete for a $30 million prize. They have to send a rover up to the moon and make it travel 500 meters across the surface while sending a moon cast back to Earth. And there are bonuses for finding water, taking a photo of a historical artifact, and surviving the freezing cold lunar night, just like us. Sure, that's sort of like what we're doing. X-Prize teams have to use common existing technologies, and the success depends on how well they apply them. From that, one of the X-Prize teams is using a two-wheel drive, like we are, and open source architecture. It's like moon bikes. Hey look, it's a robot in the ramp. Yeah, otherwise it would tip over when it was coming down the ramp. Our original design looked pretty good when we tested it in phase one. But when we put it on the real field, it didn't work. Hey, we had to come up with a design that would deal with the steeper slopes. After several tries, we came up with a design with bigger wheels, and we put the camera between the wheels. Yeah. Remember when our robot kept hitting those stupid moon rocks? Yeah, and we made a program that would avoid them, and we also tuned our compass sensor programming to keep the robot from spinning in circles. And after several failures, we came up with some blocks that would help the robot from not spinning too much. Hey look, it's a loops! Yeah, settle down. We went through many versions of the arm in order to land the loops and not knock them over. Probably a lot of Lunar X teams have similar challenges to us. Like us, competition brings new solutions. Yeah. The loops are supposed to represent helium-3. It's moon power! We did that already! Besides, solar power is the way to go. We can just beam that back to Earth. But helium-3 is the next generation of nuclear fusion fuel. Hey, remember how we figured out how to keep our robot from going over the edge? Yeah, that EOPD proc sensor was really cool. Like real rovers, our robot is using a bunch of sensors to avoid objects and run autonomously. Astro Robotic is using Carnegie Mellon's proven rover technology cool stereo video cameras, HD video, and inertial measurement. Wow, that really is cool, but I wonder what Damien's doing right now. So, how are we going to get out of here? How about this? Hmm, that just might work. <sighs> Well, I guess I should go make them pig again. Huh, where are they? <laughs>